As Mayor of Knox, I'm proud to chair the Eastern Region Group of Councils. This group enables a stronger, united voice across Melbourne's East for our councils and our communities. The five councils, Knox, Manningham, Maroondah, Whitehorse and Yarra Ranges, cover a vibrant, diverse and productive area. We are home to 15% of Melbourne's population and almost a third of Melbourne's area. Together we work to improve outcomes for communities and to create great places to live, work and enjoy. By working together we combine our knowledge and resources towards our shared vision for the region. When the State Government announced a housing statement in 2023, they set a goal to deliver 800,000 new homes over the next 10 years, mainly in established areas. This signals a substantial increase in the rate of growth and a change to how we grow. To guide how Victoria will achieve this, the state also announced a new plan for Victoria. Potentially the impacts on our region are significant. Our population could grow by half a million residents over 30 years. And while we understand people are attracted to everything that our region offers, we know that urban growth adds to the existing pressures on our environment, our housing, transport and amenity infrastructure, and community services. The Eastern Region Group want to make sure that the Victorian Government considers what local communities value when they develop their plan for Victoria. Engagement has commenced on the plan and submissions close at the end of June. We are asking for your partnership and support you have the opportunity to help create the communities that we all want to be a part of. Please add your voice so that the plan reflects the views and the needs of our region, and we can continue to be a great place to live, work and enjoy. As Jude said, urban growth inevitably puts pressure on our environment, services and infrastructure. As we work to ensure services and infrastructure keep pace with this growth, we also want to minimise our impacts on our environment and on our amenity. Done well, buildings and infrastructure can support social cohesion, enable more efficient resource use and even improve health outcomes. Our councils are already working together on regional initiatives and services, but there is much more to do. As our climate changes and development impacts increase, more people are exposed to the risks of flash flooding. This can be better improved by strategic stormwater management and drainage. Our region already faces significant challenges from bushfire and extreme weather events, and insurance for many is beyond reach. Without a stronger partnership with state government, new tools such as inclusionary zoning and new sources of funding these risk exposures will increase and people will be left behind. We want to tackle these issues regionally and need your support. Through our work on Plan East, the EIG have identified the need to prioritise community access and productivity by increasing transport options and reducing our reliance on cars. Our neighbourhoods and activity centres can be brought to life with user-friendly viable transport options giving you transport choice. Our region has a high reliance on cars, but with viable transport alternatives, we will see congestion ease and more people being able to access education, services and job opportunities. The Outer East desperately needs improvement. A more frequent and reliable bus service is vital to our communities, an upgrade is overdue. An integrated transport network is fundamental to our community's health, connectedness and equality of opportunity, especially as we transition to a low carbon future. We are a productive region known for our manufacturing and agriculture. Our clean and green natural environment defines Melbourne's East, our rivers, parks and extensive tree canopy. This green and blue infrastructure is integral to the economy and the character and amenity of the region. And it is critical to how we adapt to the impacts of climate change. 
Working with nature helps to lessen the effects of heat, uses resources more wisely, and creates spaces and places that encourage walking and cycling, or a place to just get together and enjoy the wonderful open spaces we have. With higher rates of growth planned, there will be increased pressure on our agricultural land, natural resources and parks. We are already seeing the impact of major projects such as the suburban rail loop and the North East Link on our open spaces, which more people will want to access more often. We need your support to ensure that as we grow, new housing and urban infrastructure, including schools and allied health services, is matched by more resilient and better green spaces, shaded by a growing tree canopy. We must plan now for the urban open space needs of our future communities. Our region has been planning for growth in our activity centres, corridors and precincts for decades. And we understand the balance we need to find between current and future residents. We know that the cost of living pressures are impacting many in our community and that access to affordable housing is getting more difficult. Many of our homes are larger and not well suited to smaller households or people choosing to live alone. Our councils currently prioritise housing developments in activity centres, growth corridors and limited areas identified for infill housing. The State Government's housing statement, the new plan for Victoria and the extensive suburban rail loop precincts could change where and how we grow. While we want to see more diverse, sustainable and affordable housing in the right locations as the region grows, it's really important that you let the State Government know what's important to you. As councils, we need support to keep pace with the State Government's planned growth. We're calling for better transport choices to improve community access and productivity. Investment in drainage, recreation and community infrastructure to support sustainable growth. And finally, to protect and enhance our natural environment to build climate resilience. Please add your voice so that the plan for Victoria reflects the views and needs of our region. We want you to help create the communities that we all want to be part of. Visit Engage Victoria to learn more and have your say to help shape the future of Victoria and the Eastern Region.